Thank you. All right, so what we're going to talk about is really foreign to most of us. What's going on with healthcare in China? So, you know, backstage, we were talking a little bit about the, the doctor on demand, the virtual nature of what you're doing. So tell us a little bit about what the hospitals are like that you're trying to build in China today. Okay. Uh, China is a big country. We have uh, 1.3 billion population. Uh, from a health care, we have a big uh, problem uh, because most best doctor is uh, based on big city like uh, Beijing and Shanghai. And uh, if a uh, compare with we call second tier, third tier city, and even the countryside, the quality is not good. So that make a big problem that people, if they got a real sick, they try to move from a countryside to be Beijing. So that means uh, healthcare costs is not only for surgery, uh, treatment, maybe 50% of the cost is trip, the travel, and also if you have some uh, like uh, cancer, that be become a more uh, cost uh, the problem. So we try to use the digital technology uh, to make those kind of uh, you know gap narrow those kind of gap. We call it cloud hospital. Cloud hospital just like uh, the concept like uh, Uber. So Newsoft invites the infrastructure in China. We build more than 20, we call healthcare management center in different city. That center like a plan for, like a infrastructure. We have uh, all the, the equipment like a hospital, like CTMR, ultrasound, we have a nurse, doctor in there. We have uh, hospital information system as infrastructure. So we believe the doctor is independent. Doctor is not belong to any hospital. So they can deliver their services if they can share in our infrastructure. So based on those kind of a concept, we call this cloud hospital. So that means we have so many doctor use our infrastructure to manage their, we call virtual hospital. So we can deliver their services, they can build a connection. They can build their uh, group. And that means uh, like some nurse, they can work together with a good doctor. Now we have around 20 million uh, users uh, in our you know, uh, cloud hospital. And uh, also not only uh, you know, for uh, the ba basically that is a premier care, so community care. So we can deliver some nurse, come to home, and we can deliver also some drugs and to be home, and also some doctor uh, based on Beijing and Shanghai can make a remote diagnostic. We have so many wearable devices monitoring sleep, heartbeat, and uh, diabetes, and all those kind of uh, activity. So we digitalize the best doctor's practice to like uh, we call, uh, you know, China have a term we call barefoot doctor. So barefoot doctor means they are doctor, but not degree of, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, um, not uh, very good uh, etiquette, uh, because many of countryside, uh, they cannot do got a good doctor. But they, if they use a cloud hospital, they can follow up some standard uh, process. So that means uh, the good doctor's experience can be sharing by many not so good doctor. So narrow the gap of service quality, that is one. And secondly, uh, we can reduce a lot of people to move from a countryside, from a, one city to another city. So that is what we did. We are so exciting, uh, not easy, because uh, the people in the very beginning not accept those kind of uh, concept. But now, every year, we got a 20%, 30%, this year, 100% growing our numbers. 100% is a, a good number for growth in a year. Um, what happens to all the data? Where's the data going? Are you using it for other purposes, learning, improving healthcare? We, we have our own uh, servers because our infrastructure we call uh, healthcare management center. So every year, a lot of people come in there, have a health check. The check is uh, one is from some of a company for the purpose 
uh, to, you know, given the benefit to employee. Another is introduced by third party doctor because they have their own members for healthcare purpose. They, they given a kind of, uh, you know, uh, arrangement like uh, they, are, they are custom every year have a health check. So all those kind of data save in the cloud. So they can just like uh, the personal healthcare bank. So everybody, they can download their information in your mobile phone. So that means uh, you can sharing your information given all different kind of doctor if, uh, if you need. And also we contract with the city. Now we already have uh, a few cities you use our infrastructure. We help city to manage the citizens healthcare. For example, in city of Ningbo, they have seven million the peoples living in that city. The, all the personal healthcare record is managed by NUSA. So uh, government paid to us by our services. We given all individual, the citizens data put together from uh, each of our different hospital or clinic. So that means not any recheck. So they can sharing all those kind of information for different hospital or personal the doctor. And so we unify and uh, use one platform to like uh, those kind of data become uh, very much available for the purpose, uh, you know, before so many check. And if you come to one hospital, they check one time and uh, they keep the data. If you come to another one, uh, they check again. So check become kind of way hospital can make money. But every time, so that make the cost of, uh, you know, healthcare become higher and higher. What's your expansion plan? I mean, obviously, you're growing in China. Are you going to continue to grow exponentially? New centers across China? Are you going to go to other parts of Asia? Are you going to go into Europe? Uh, I think the healthcare system is like a kind of language. Uh, it's very hard to, you know, must localize. China have a different uh, kind of regulation. Uh, we, we have a big problem because of shortage of doctors, service quality not good, but our advantages, uh, we have no legacy. So we have nothing before. The new stuff from the first day, we're starting to build infrastructure. Not so many uh, stakeholders at the back, and uh, not so much talks. So we, like, uh, we have around 700 million people's payer side information because we develop a social security platform for China, we have a 50% more market share in this country. So that means we exactly knew which city, which hospital charge how much for different diseases. If you knew that date, you exactly know a lot of space you can improve. For example, decade, you know, a kind of decade diseases. In city of Beijing, even same city, around 20 hospitals, they can charge two times, three times the difference, the price. So the, the patient now charge like a, like, a, like a restaurant. You come to a restaurant, you have a menu, you can exactly know what is the price, you can uh, have a selection. But a hospital, they charge after you left. So that means if we transparent all those kind of data to each of the individuals, of course, they have their right choices because same kind of outcome, but they cost double, three times. It's not fair to everybody. So transparency is very important. So now we try to expand our cloud hospital. Uh, we have another very lucky, uh, you know, the business. And from the first day, we developed the IT system for hospital. Now 30% of a hospital in China around thousands use our IT system. So- And we, your CAT scanners and your MRI. Yeah, we have, your... uh, of course, <laughs> we have our medical equipment. We produce a CDMR, ultrasound. Oh, and the universities that you own also train the people in the hospital. It's quite an enterprise. Uh, yes, so uh, you see, I think healthcare is kind of an ecosystem. You cannot uh, just talking about reduced cost. If you you like a insurance company, you just want to control your risk, so the hospital have problem. 
So it must be solve that problem in an ecosystem. So uh, I think a primary care, community care is most, most important. Kalau Hospital is mainly infrastructure for community care. How do you push people for prevention? Obviously now with the pollution in China, we're seeing rises in cancer, heart disease, and others. How do you push them for prevention, not just for treatment? We, we do some kind of uh, you know, testing. The people not very much active to, to you know, prevent, uh, to exercise or something. But if you're given the personal health data to give it to them, like him to understand what is the risk. Right. Most of people will join your activity. I think healthcare is not only in a hospital, a doctor play the rules. If like an individual to be part of healthcare, it be a, you know, be a partner with a doctor will be very much improve uh, the quality and reduce the cost. But the, for those, you must transparent. You must like uh, each of the individual exactly understand what it means of this kind of data. So if people download our mobile apps, if you have a healthcare check, if you have any trouble of uh, some kind of part, and it will give very, very detailed description about what is the problem, what is the reason, how to recover, uh, you know, then you can talk your doctor, just put a button. You can talk our call center at the back. So the people is very much, you know, after you join, you find they cannot stop uh, because every day they want to improve. You want to change the data uh, because every day, just like your personal bank account, you can see your interest. And uh, if you have the, all those kind of data, and that become a different world. That's great. We're going to open to the audience and questions from uh, uh, people out there. Questions. The, uh, you know, oh, we have one right here. So just a, uh, just a curious question. Um, when you think about the US healthcare system with its relatively convoluted way of paying for services, if you had to bring your structure into the US, do you think it is viable, or do you think material change has to happen here before it can happen? Uh, before I start my, uh, you know, uh, invite this uh, new uh, baby, uh, we call ho ho Kalau Hospital, I uh, visit so many uh, insurance companies like uh, Verpoint, United Health, and uh, Antina, I learn, really, really learn a lot. The basically, I understood if you want to make a sustainable uh, you know, healthcare system, you must just understand where the money come from. So who is the payer? So, uh, so uh, I think for my system to come to there, uh, you maybe a few things uh, is different based on the culture. One is about privacy. Uh, by my understood, uh, Americans don't like the people to monitoring to got some data, individual data, special sharing with uh, somebody. I, maybe I misunderstood. No, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but in China, it's, uh, they, they make those kind of data just like a trading. So they, they, they check whether that be good for me. If that's good for me, you can use it. So that makes the China why so many people today, they don't carry the cash. Every people use a mobile phone. If you have phone, you can pay for everywhere, uh, even uh, you know, for small shop. And now we have no, no cash in, in China. So you, you use uh, the mobile phone, you can exactly buy anything. A lot of uh, privacy thing are because you have your credit cards, uh, you have your all the record to pay, and uh, uh, they also give you a summary. Uh, they help you to make uh, all your booking in the back, even your travel. Everything, for example, every year a day, I got a report in the back. It told me how many miles you trap to uh, which location or something. I'm not the one, I, I surprised uh, because I know today, uh, if I don't use a mobile phone, it be uh, not convenient to me. If I use mobile phone, at least my position, 
be uh, transparent to everybody. So that, that is a different culture. I think that is uh, one factor. I don't know uh, how to use my uh, concept in here. Maybe uh, most of the challenge is privacy. We have another question here. Is it open? Yeah. Hi, Elaine Leavenworth from Abbott. Um, Recently, the Chinese government has made uh, announcement of changes in the ministries that have been governing healthcare as an ongoing process of trying to wrestle with all the challenges that healthcare poses. So I'm curious to understand, um, are they going to be looking toward your model as something they want to replicate across the country with other companies as, in addition to yourself? Or are they looking at other models as well? And um, how do you relate to the government and their efforts? I, I think it's a very good uh, change. Uh, the reason it's changed is before, uh, from a money side, and there's a two, uh, two uh, ministry. One is, uh, I don't know, maybe a ministry of a labor. Uh, you know, they manage all the social security, the monies. So uh, we, uh, before we have a uh, contact with them, uh, because we make a digital exchange standard. We can connect all the data in uh, China and also 50% market share of data is managed in our platform. Another hand is uh, Ministry of Health. So Ministry of Health uh, take money from uh, Ministry of uh, Labor. So they are now working together. For the Ministry of Labor, uh, they want to control the cost just like say, uh, after they collect all money, you say, I only pay half to a hospital, uh, to the Ministry of Healthcare. The uh, Ministry of Healthcare use that money, and uh, so that make um, many of stay the own the hospital, they, like, uh, they don't like a non-profit organization, they like a profit organization. They, they have their like a business, like a president of hospital, like a CEO. Uh, they, they make the bigger, the hospital, they try to you know, collect more money. And so the public is not happy for that. So this time, the Ministry of Health is just a manager hospital, but they dedicate, make a group, combine all that the money's management to become one subsidiary. So I think it's a, it's a good chance. Uh, second, I think our model will be widely adapted by this country because after a few years' uh, experience, it really, really works. And uh, also, many of city now, our customer one is city, city by our infrastructure. Another very good trend is uh, insurance company. It's uh, include social insurance and also commercial insurance because after they sell the insurance, they, ha they like us to manage their customer. So I think it's the direction. That's fantastic. Well, Dr. Lu, thank you for a fascinating insight into this amazing business you've built from hospitals to universities to wineries to spas. <laughs> Your breath is amazing, and you know, I just am excited to see where it goes. Thank you very much. Thank you.